Folks, what's up? This is Michael in the wee hours of the night on your graveyard shift with your daily trivia question. Once again, happy hump day, my favorite day of the week. As we all know, if you've ever listened to my trivia questions before, hump day is my favorite. So anyhow, <laughs> got got a little carried away there. I'm sorry. So the answer to the previous trivia question was, of course, none other than Mr. Paul Revere and his famous midnight ride as he's known for. Now he had his hand in a ton of things growing up. Okay. He was into different trades, all kinds of stuff. He ended up as a Sons of Liberty member and patriot in the American Revolution. And during this time, he became best known for his so-called quote-unquote midnight ride to alert the colonial militia, easy for me to say, of approaching British forces moving towards Lexington and Concord. This was in April of 1775, which is the focus of the trivia question. Now, Paul Revere would gather others along the way and alert up to 40 other riders as they ultimately headed towards Concord. They would subsequently be captured by British troops, which I mentioned in the trivia question as well. And this occurred in Lincoln. Paul Revere would later be released after questioning the others escaped before that time. So the ride itself uh, that Paul Revere made, this midnight ride, although very, very historical and factual, it has been commemorated and it went down in history in a number of different ways. There are different popular memories, so to speak, of the event. Remember, uh, the British are coming was something that I grew up with as a Generation Xer in history class. Revere's Midnight Ride. There, there's the notion that he made this ride along the horse by moonlight all by himself, okay, and, and which was not true at all. Henry Longfellow wrote a famous poem about the occurrence. His famous ride basically has been kind of dramatized and romanticized a bit over time. Now, I... I put this in here as a little, as a little factoid, but it, it, growing up, I had teachers swear uh, in history class, swear by the fact that he his famous line was, the British are coming, the British are coming, as he made this, this famous ride. And of course, that has been debunked over time. He probably, uh, historians have, have notated that he probably referred to them as regulators, and it needed really it was probably a cohort type of a really quiet operation because he didn't want to alert the British troops, which were hiding in, in the uh, in the mountains and so forth or in the woods or wherever they were hiding. So historically, by giving the colonists advance warning of the British army actions, and this is probably the main takeaway, his famous ride played a crucial role in the colonists victory in the subsequent battles. Now, Paul Revere would go on to serve in the militia in a number of capacities in a number of positions, really, uh, ranks and so forth. However, as history uh, has proven, he was not a very good soldier. He was involved in one of like the most disastrous conflicts uh, in, in the Revolutionary War where he lost horribly or something to that effect. If my research serves me correctly, he was just not a good soldier. He would eventually return to his roots working with copper and brass and that trade in particular and would go on to start his own company for which he was very successful. The Revere Copper Company is still around to this day. So that's Paul Revere and his famous Midnight Ride. All right, folks, that brings us to today's trivia question for Hump Day, April 20th. Here we go on this day in 1971. Ooh, that year sounds familiar. That's my, my kind of era right there. The United States Supreme Court in a famous North Carolina case, this is pretty cool, unanimously declares that this could legally be utilized for the purpose of escalating desegregation in public schools. Good luck, folks. Have a safe day. Thanks for all you do. Peace out.